Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So, in this video, we are going to see how can we dynamically pass the radio button values in UI path form. So, till now, we saw we had an option to add the attributes and values in the data field in UI path form. We had that option to add the name and what value will that name be containing. So, in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to create a radio button but we are not going to assign any values in the data tab. We are just directly going to pass the value from outside the forms directly into the forms. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so I've already built the workflow, but I'm going to show step-by-step -step procedure what we are going to do. So, So for first of all, using the form activities, you need to go to manage packages, go to all packages and install UI part dot form activities. So it sends something like this, as you can see, UI part dot form activities, this you need to install. Once you have installed this going to your form, you see I have create form activity over here under forms. So I have to create form activity using which i'm going to design my form now let us design our form first mm -hmm. so you see what i've done is i've just dragged a radio button post field case radio one so i have done in the normal way over here so the field case radio we need to remember this which will be used later now, if you see, if I want to add the data here, we will be adding the static values, not the dynamic values. For, so first, let's see that. Okay, so let me type label choice one. Add another. Let's copy this. Copy, paste, choice. Let me see. So you see here, I've added the static values. So now once I save this, this will be visible once the form is loaded. But what if I want to pass these values dynamically? So we are going to see that now. Let me just go and delete the data. First of all, make sure you have kept this particular thing as empty, the data tab, and save it. We know the field key is radio. And so we are going to see after passing the value, if we want to access them outside the form, how we are going to do that. So now to pass the values dynamically to the radio buttons, what you need to do is you need to create a list of string. So if you see in the variables pane, I have one list of string called box list, right? And it is, you see, list of string. So you can, you need to go to browse for types, type list, and then go to here, system.collection.generic. Here you need to select the type string. So I have done that. Now I'm going to add the values to that string. That values are going to be the one which I want in my radio buttons option to be available. So you see, I've used an assign statement box list and let me show you all the syntax. New list of string from. So what I'm doing here is in from, I am defining my values of my radio buttons that I want to keep. You can edit in whichever way you want. So let me add one more choice four, right? So what you need to do is new list of string. This is just the initialization from. So the values of this list of string are going to come from here. So you see, I have typed the from values. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to go to the form fields collection and you see our, that particular field key of the radio field that we had added was radio and I have added underscore drop down. So this you always need to add when you are passing values dynamically or else it will throw an error. So first I will show it. Okay, first let me show it with drop down and then we'll remove this. You see here I'm passing it as in argument. That is, I want this values to go inside the form, which are of type list, list of string, right? And they are having the value box list, which list I've created outside the form. And to access that particular value outside the form, I'm just going to type the field key out and assign it to a value. You see this 
radio is another variable over here. So you need to do two things. To pass in the value, you need to write radio underscore drop down list of string and pass your list of string and then radio to access the value outside string and give it the filter and make sure this value variable name and this particular variable name you keep it as same so even you know like which values you are accessing outside the form and which you are passing inside the form right so i have done this let me click ok and i'm just using right line to print the variable out that will be the value that i'm selecting inside the form so let me just save and execute it so you see it's very simple to pass the dynamic values to the radio buttons in ui path forms it's not that difficult you we just need to figure out the way how we do it so you see now we had added four choices we see and when we created the form we had just selected the radio button field we didn't add any of them so i'm selecting choice four okay and i'm clicking on submit so it is going to close my form and you see in output i have the value choice four so this is how i get the value as well outside the form so you see i think in just few minutes we were able to design a completely dynamic radio button in ui path so let me remove this okay and let me click on okay. Uh -huh. Let's delete this. And, uh -huh. and let's remove this drop. So we are not going to print the value, but just pass the value. Okay. Radio must not be an array. So you see, we cannot pass it without that particular keyword so we have to add that particular keyword now you see it specifies the form that it is a list of string right so just drop down this is the keyword okay and let me add that as well radio which is going to be my out and it is going to be my radio save Run the file. So now we should be getting the output. You see, it's pretty simple. Let's select a different choice and complete it. So the output is here. So I hope you got a very clear understanding of how we can create dynamic radio buttons in UI path forms and pass the value. Also, we saw how we can do it in a static way. So these are the different UCA features available in UI path forms. I will try to make videos on different dynamic drop downs as well, different dynamic checkboxes, then how to pass and image file path. So directly we can see the image in the UI path form. So the videos on all these topics will be coming soon. And thank you for watching the complete video. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Pardoshi Learning by Doing. Thank you.